If you're looking for the best USB hubs, here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we have included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the 10th position of our list, we have Satechi Aluminum. The Satechi Aluminum offers similar performance to many of the other USB hubs in our review that are similar in appearance, and it has an Ethernet port. We also like that the Satechi has the SD and micro SD card slot on the hub's front, but the USB 3.0s and the HDMI port on the back. This makes sense for those who will be using their hub in a more permanent setting than those who are always traveling. The biggest drawbacks that we can see with the Satechi Aluminum is the price. Unless you can find this model on sale, it likely makes sense to go with a more affordable USB hub. Moving on to the next at number 9 with Hu2 Shuttle. The Hu2 Shuttle is another decent USB-C hub. This model offers all of the standard ports you'd expect from this type of device, including microSD, SD, USB 3.0, USB-C, and HDMI. One of the three USB 3.0 ports can deliver up to 100 watt of power to charge devices rather than just transfer data. We were a bit disappointed to discover that the shuttle has only one USB-C input. Most people will use this slot for their power cable, so there won't be another port open if you have a different USB-C device that needs data transferred. It's also a bit bigger than other models that offer a similar level of performance. The Hu2 is still an excellent model to go with if you want this style of USB hub and want to be able to charge USB 3.0 devices. The number 8 position is held by Kovitec Hub M14. If you're in the market for a MacBook Pro USB-C hub, the Kovitec Hub M14 is not a bad choice. It plugs directly into the MacBook without cables, which helps reduce clutter and make it more compact for traveling. It has all of the standard ports you'd expect, including HDMI, USB-C, USB 3.0, SD, and microSD, so you should have most bases covered for your data transfer needs. The Kovitec is also a fraction of the price of many other USB hubs, which is always an attractive feature. Sadly, we were not too impressed with the construction of the Kovitec. It's so light that it feels like as if you're going to break it. The housing of the ports doesn't quite align with the ports themselves. Flaws aside, it still functions perfectly fine and would not be a bad choice for those looking for an affordable MacBook Pro USB hub. Next at number 7, we have Lenshin CBC13. If you live in the realm where style is key, we recommend the Lenshin C13 USB hub. With a classy rose gold wrap, with a classy rose gold hub, you will be getting away from the monotonous grays and silvers of most other hubs. We also enjoy the T design of the C13. It's a nice break from most other hubs long, skinny design. This 4-in-1 hub includes one USB-C port, one USB 3.0 port, and two USB 2.0 ports. So if that's all you need, then look no further. The Lenshin C13 does have a few pretty significant shortcomings. For one, it lacks an HDMI. If you have a newer laptop and you're looking to hook up to an external monitor or TV, this is a pretty big deal. The C13 is also devoid of any type of card reader. If transferring media directly from an SD or micro SD card is your goal, you're going to need a different model. If all you're looking for is an excellent USB hub with a few ports, this is still a great choice. The number 6 position is held by Atola Powered. If you know that you will be connecting USB 3.0 devices and lots of them, the Atola Powered USB hub is the way to go. This model has 7 slots on top of the housing that each has power buttons so you can pick and choose which devices are connected to your computer at any given time. The Atola also includes one smart charging port at the end of the device with a high enough power output to charge phones and tablets, bringing the total number of USB 3.0 ports. The Atola powered isn't exactly ideal for traveling for a couple of critical reasons. 
First of all, the use of the included power adapter cord is required, so you need to be sure that you're near a wall plug. This model is also very bulky. Some USB hubs are a fraction of the size. When you consider the added bulk from the power cord, this package takes up quite a bit of room in a laptop bag or briefcase. Still, if you know you want a large number of USB 3.0 ports and that you won't be moving your hub around much, we'd say the Atola is a fantastic choice. The number 5 position is dominated by Vava VAUC016. If you want a do-it-all USB hub, the Vava VAUC016 is the way to go. This model boasts all of the ports that you'd expect. HDMI, USB-C, SD, microSD, and three USB 3.0s. The Vava takes it a step further by including an Ethernet port and an audio output. This can be very useful for laptops that are devoid of audio hookups, especially if you're ever in a situation where you're using an older USB 3.0 projector that doesn't have audio capabilities. We were a bit disappointed to discover that out of all those ports, there was only one USB-C slot on the Vava VA UC016. It's nice to have an alternate USB-C to the one you are using for power. Considering that more and more devices are going to this type of port, the other downside to the VA UC016 is that it's expensive. If you are shopping on a budget, this is not the one. That said, for those that want to be sure that they have every port for any situation in their briefcase or laptop bag, we think the purchase is well worth it. Moving on to the next at number 4 with QGM USB-C. If you need a 7-in-1 USB hub but don't want to break the bank, check out the QGM. The ports included in this model are USB-C, HDMI, SD, microSD, and 3 USB 3.0s. If that sounds like it would work for you, the QGM is probably a good bet. Our main complaint with the QGM is that it only has one USB-C port which would presumably be used for the power cord if your device has only one port on it. Other than that, we did find it to be relatively big and bulky when compared to other models with the same functionality. Still, if budget is an issue, this is a great choice. The number 3 position is held by Anchor Power Expand Direct. Anchor is well known in the tech world for making quality products, and their Power Expand Direct is most definitely on the list. This newer style of USB hub attaches directly to the body of your MacBook, eliminating the need for any length of cable. The design looks good. It matches MacBooks, keeping your workspace looking as clean as it can be. The Power Expand Direct also includes a sleek cloth carrying case for those often on the go. Although the Power Expand Direct does have a USB-C port dedicated to a MacBook power cord, some people may not like that. Some people may not like that it takes up both ports on the laptop at all times. It also won't work with many cases, so your MacBook likely needs to be bare bones to use this model. This hub is far from the most affordable model. If you're shopping on a budget, it would be wise to check out a different model. Despite the downsides associated with the Power Expand Direct, we still think it's the best USB hub for newer MacBooks with two USB-C ports. Next at number 2, we have Anchor 4 port. If all you are looking for, a bare bones USB 3.0 hub, the Anchor 4 port could be a solid choice. This hub is as simple as they come. Just plug it in and you're transferring data at the USB 3.0 standard of 5 gigabits per second. It is nice that Anchor thought to include a handy velcro tie to keep the extra long cord from getting tangled. The Anchor 4 port is most definitely missing some belts and whistles. Other USB 3.0 hubs in our review include power buttons for each port or are even capable of charging larger devices such as phones and tablets. Still, this model works for those looking for a simplistic way to expand the several ports from a single USB 3.0 port. Finally, the number one position is dominated by separate HBUM43. If you are in the market for a simplistic USB 3.0 hub with some slick features, look no further than the separate HBUM43. This model has an LED backlit switch for each port so that you can toggle which devices are talking to your computer without unplugging them from the hub. We love the 2-foot cable, 
with a cable that long, you can keep the hub entirely out of your workspace. The main downside of the Sabrent HB UM43 is that it doesn't charge devices. If you are looking for a way to charge phones, cameras, or other USB-powered toys, it would be wise to look into a hub that plugs into an additional power source rather than divide one USB plug's worth of power into four. Regardless of the flaws, this is the perfect device for those looking to have push-button control over several USB 3.0 devices plugged in at once. That's all for today. We upload product review videos every single day. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button for the upcoming video notification.